What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70 back, and today we are checking out a 2011 BMW M3. It's kind of a sacred car. It is the last of the V8 monster, the E92, for those of you who don't know. You know, they went from a straight line V6 to the V8, and then straight to a turbo six, which had a lot of M3 people a little upset. So, but today we're gonna check out this car and go into detail, drive along, check out the exhaust. It has a few things done to it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right to it. So guys, we are in this freaking awesome 2011 E92 BMW M3 for all you uh, plebs who don't know any better. Um, this beast, what, 414 horsepower? I don't understand BMW with their torque, but it's only got 295 torque, but this bad boy keeps up, or is pretty close to our 2016 Camaro. Um, it is heavy, 3,700 pounds. This specific car has the comp package. I think it's like, on this car brand new, it was like a $2,500 option, but it totally changes the way the car handles. Um, the car sits lower, it has special rims where like the 19 inch alloys, and they actually stick out a lot, like they tuck them right underneath the fenders in uh, that response. But the interior of this car is freaking amazing. Like the new M's do not look this nice. They don't, like mm -hmm. what the hell happened? So he's got his, and I'll flip the camera around here in a bit and I'll show you guys, I'll do like an interior shot so you guys can see everything, but uh, this car's a beast. So we did some uh, some fun little, I guess you can call that a high speed run. We had it like- Spirited. One, spirited runs. Yeah. Within the law, um, but yeah. So let's let's go cruise. Let's check this bad boy out. So how long have you had this car now? I've had this car for almost a year now. A year. So this was so obviously 2011. So this car is what coming up five years old. Um, this was the M3 that it, kind of the controversy car, the in between car. So before this car rolled out, they had the straight line six, which was like the pedigree for the M3 series. Then they came out with the V8 and everybody was, the, the straight line guys were all hot and bothered, but the V8 was, everyone just fell in love with it because this car was a beast um, for all intents and purposes. But then the following body style, what was it, the F80? Is that what it was? Um, God, wow, I'm shocked I remembered that. <laughs> That's um, really good. They came out with the turbocharged V6, which pissed everyone off because they're like, not only did you not go back to the straight line six, but you ditched the V8 that you all made us learn to love. And, uh, but you know, in fairness, the turbo six is faster, better fuel economy. Yeah. I think it's a lighter car if I'm not mistaken. It is. Um, but it's still an M. Um, but the, the one thing that I have noticed BMW do over the years is they've sacrificed interior quality, raised the price of the car, and gave you better performance. Now, I don't know how many people are upset about that, but I know with the price tag that these cars have, I would be a little pissed off, um, especially if I was in the market for one. But one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get into this car is this car is in that perfect spot of cross shopping. It's got a V8. The price point is, I think these used start around the same price as a 1SS. Um, this one here is the automatic, if I'm not mistaken. He's pissed because he wanted a manual, but he couldn't find one. Um, so all you manual guys out there, don't get all butt hurt. Um, he tried. So, um, but the car runs really nice. Um, I can't believe, like, I didn't realize how how high revving this V8 was. Um, I think it kept out at like 8,300 RPM and I'll post some of the height the the speed runs where it just feels like it's going I'm like is this car gonna shift? Like holy hell it's got almost like the GT350 in a way where it's just it takes forever to shift and uh funny he gets he gets in like that 3000 rpm range and that's when it feels like it's throwing you in the, the back seat uh, a little bit because that's i believe that's when the torque is kicking in but um it's a really nice car he, he, i mean he, he takes obviously really good care of it it's in the windows and uh, what's what's the brand you put a new exhaust on it i have a, a gt house meister shaft gt2 exhaust so that's how you say it, gt house mm -hmm. uh, german house yeah house um but man it, so i saw his car 
pretty close after you just got it, right? And uh, it was pretty quiet. I gave him a pretty hard time because it was so quiet. And not like our cars are much louder. Um, but when he put this exhaust on, he came up to a, uh, a, a car meet and I heard him coming from along. I had no idea it was him. But holy crap, it transformed the way this car sounds. And it sounds amazing. Uh, but yeah. Not too much drone either. No, yeah. not from what I could do. Well, you've kind of been spirited. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got the moonroof. What other little tchotchkes item? You got surround sound. Looks like you know you got all the BMW amenities, all it's, sorts of greatness. It's pretty much fully loaded except for no carbon fiber roof. There you go. What? Why the hell? Like, come on. I wanted one, but you can get the carbon fiber trunk and hood, lighten up your car a little yeah, bit. Like, yeah. Gosh, yeah, some of those pounds get away from the Camaros. Well, it doesn't help that uh, I'm sitting in your car. No. <laughs> I always say that in every car ride I go on. I just <laughs> like your car is now at least two-tenths slower because I'm sitting in it. <laughs> or it's faster because I have traction. There, there you go. All <laughs> if this is all-wheel drive, you'd be golden. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here, let me I'm gonna move the camera. I'm showing you guys the interior. I'll do a, a standstill shot as well, but the interior, I fit. So you guys know in the Viper, I didn't fit so well. Um, but in this one, there's plenty of leg space. And I think the seat even goes back further. I didn't even put it all the way back. But you can see all the nice doodads and controls. It's a really clean car. Back seat, rear view mirror, view. The greenhouse in this car is definitely good. I could see why import guys get all butthurt around visual quality of our Camaros or even just muscle cars in general. They're so used to having such huge greenhouses. But yeah, so there's a little ride along with the M3. This car's dope. So I'll be following up with uh, some shots of the car. And uh, thanks for uh, riding along so far. gone for a drive heard the exhaust saw a few good pictures but let's check it out in a little little bit closer interior and motor But honestly, this exhaust is dope as hell. All the shinies. But there you have it guys. 2011 BMW M3 Classy E92. Can't go wrong with this beast. So if you guys are out there looking for an M, this is a great car to be looking at, especially if you're looking one for with a V8. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And until next time, we'll see what new car I get my hands on next. See you guys on the road.